Hey, what's up guys? I'm Zeus, and when life gives you maple syrup, you make chicken and waffles. It's showtime. This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Benvenuto Restaurant in Milford. Hey, real quick, let's check out the lineup on Delmarva Sports Network. Governor's Challenge starting at 8 o'clock. Delmarva Catholic versus uh, Silesian. I never can say that right. And then the final <laughs> score is coming up at 10.30. <laughs> now, it might be the king of comfort food, the reigning champ of soulful cuisine. And a combo that you just can't resist. We're talking about chicken and waffles. And who better to demonstrate a gourmet technique than Chef Zeus, a Benvenuto restaurant, joining us for the first time in the new year. Welcome yes, back. Is. We miss Happy you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. New year. To everyone at home, Happy New Year. Love you guys. So we are making chicken and waffles, right? And mm. this is, you know, it's comfort food. And But here's the thing. What is in comfort food, right? Whatever... It is to you is what it is to you, I, right? Yeah, Makes sense, right? Yeah. So you know, your mom maybe made the make, you know best mac and cheese. That's comforting yeah, to you. Yeah. Meatloaf, yeah. Yeah. chicken and waffles. Someone down south. So check this out, right? So there's a lot of ways of making this dish. This is the way I learned it from this little old lady years and years and years ago, <laughs> and I still use it to this day. Now, here's what's interesting: the chicken, right? That's the first thing. So this is an all-natural chicken that we've just soaked overnight in buttermilk. All okay. right. That buttermilk gets in there, starts breaking that protein down, makes it super tender. And this is our dredge, all right? So for the dredge, if you guys want to do this at home, one cup of flour, one cup of cornstarch, all right? Little garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika. I like smoked paprika because it has a high smoke point. It's not going to burn on you, and it gives you that nice color. A little salt, a little pepper, and it's good to go. All right, now, what's interesting is when we take our chicken and we dredge it in here, all right, we're not just dredging the chicken and popping it in the fryer. What you're doing is you're gonna dredge this chicken in this flour and cornstarch mix, and then we're gonna let it sit for a good 10, 15 minutes. What? Really? Okay, and what you get, the magic of television, is yeah. this. Okay. Now you see how this is getting pasty? Mm -hmm. All right, that's what's gonna give you that crispiness. Okay. All right, oh. this is what we need to make this super crispy. So now we are actually gonna go in with this chicken. So I have here just some regular canola oil and this is set at 350 degrees, okay? And this is what's gonna allow this chicken to become super, super crispy. It's not just the cornstarch and the flour mix, it's also how long we let this kind of sit here and marinate, all right? So, our chicken's going, okay. all right? Now, we're gonna kinda let these guys go for a swim. They're gonna do their <laughs> thing. Now, to make a good waffle batter, okay? So, ingredients. So we have eggs, all right? We have flour, we have cornstarch, I'm sorry, baking powder, we have some sugar, vanilla, all right, milk, and oil, all right? So, what we do is we add our sugar to our flour. So we're doing the, these dry ingredients first. One. Sure. This is the cornstarch, okay? And we're just gonna kind corn of- Cornstarch or baking powder? I'm sorry, baking powder. Okay. Cornstarch is in there. Mm -hmm. You're right. testing us there, weren't yes, you? Yes, <laughs> yes. All right, so we just kind of give these a nice little shake. And then we're gonna start with these wet ingredients. So we're gonna use a cup of milk, all right? And look, everybody's a little bit different. You may say, hey, you know, I want my batter a little bit thinner, or I want my batter a little bit thicker. It's all personal preference, okay? Vanilla. We're going to add our vanilla, and this is pure vanilla, all right? And this is where I make my adjustments, is with this oil, okay? So if I want it a little bit runnier or a little bit thicker, that's what I'll do. The chicken is uh, making some noise yes, over here. Yes, it is. It's, it's singing over there. Mm -hmm. It's singing, <laughs> okay? Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to reach over here, okay? And I'm going to add a little bit of this butter. Mm. Okay, to this waffle batter. Okay, we're gonna get this whisked in. Ooh. All right, so we know we're making a really nice, gooey batter. Okay, now it's looking battery. Right, okay, <laughs> and remember, it doesn't have to be runny, watery. Okay, and this is what we have here. So, you see how that's much thicker? Yeah, okay, yeah. than a than a traditional batter. It almost looks like a cake batter. It does, it does, all right? So now we're gonna just take a little look over here. You oh, can see that. Oh, they're looking good. Oh, 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 right? Oh, oh. Wow. 
Can beautiful. I, do you want me to pull that up again? Um, so yeah, 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 pull yeah, that yeah. up. You guys up. want to see that? Take a look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. we're, we're really cooking here. Yes, we are. Right? We are cooking. <laughs> so cooking now, with oil. All right, we are. So now, Belgian waffles, right? So what we're doing is, you know, you can, you can do whatever you want to do at home. If you want to use a round waffle maker mm -hmm. or a square one like this, if you want smaller ones, it's really up to you, all right? This is what we're using today. We switch it up at the restaurant. But what we're going to do now is we're going to put our waffle batter in, right. get these going, our chicken's cooking, and when we come back, what are we going to do? I'm guessing we're going to fight. That's right. We're and gonna then pick. we're going to eat it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around, guys. The Marvel Life, we'll be right back. We are bringing in the heavy machinery today in the Delmarva Life Kitchen. We've got the deep fryer and the waffle maker going. Can I go ahead and uh, yes, we're pull, this pull this up? chicken out now? And that is because Chef Zeus from Benvenuto Restaurant is showing us how to make his spin on chicken and waffles. Mm -hmm. Just to, that looks amazing. You did a great job on Thank that. You. I mean it. See that, Jimmy? Look at that. That's perfect. <laughs> That's amazing. So now I want to show you guys something. So we're going to remove this chicken. Uh -huh. Okay. And. What we're going to do now is season this. Now, remember this at home, guys. Anytime you're frying something, all right, you also want to season it, but you only have X amount of time. So it's usually anywhere from 45 uh, seconds to a minute oh. that we want to season this, okay? One. Well, the oils are still on here, yeah. okay? And they're nice and hot, and they're just going to really just take on that seasoning, where if you kind of let it sit for you know, a few minutes, you're not going to really be able to get that seasoning to get into that oil gotcha. and pull it in. Makes okay. sense. All right. You did a great job Thank on that. You. I mean it. Mm -hmm. So now Jimmy's been doing waffles over here. Ooh, I want to show you guys good. at home. Look at that. Oh, good some job, Jimmy. Hey, well, you know, I applied myself. <laughs> you really did. You are the man. All right. So now we're going to show you guys how easy it is to plate these up. So we're just going to put these waffles down like such. Okay. <laughs> And again, this is comfort food, okay? So wait a minute. I want to ask you something. Yes. You you said that one of the reasons, one of the things that you look for when it comes to this is imperfection. Yes. It's nice to see that sort of human element. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. it's like old music recordings, right? They didn't, yes. Right. Yes. Nowadays, mm -hmm. everything's perfect. I, I like putting old. One. I like putting on an old Led Zeppelin album in here and hearing the like, hits. Yeah, hearing you the hear. The yeah, yeah yes, yes, you hear like, oh, he made a little mistake there, but it's not. It just it just shows you that you know. That Jimmy Page, you know, wanted to you know, just leave it on there, you sure, know? Sure. So it's the same thing with food. So now we have our waffles, we have our chicken. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna use some pure maple syrup. Uh, oh, now, only the best. Yes. Now here's the deal. Every now and then I like hanging out at the log cabin, no. but you know, there's just something about real deal. You You've know, got a maple tree in the back of your restaurant. We don't you? do, yep. and everybody knows that. And every now and then we have to chase people off. <laughs> <laughs> now we don't, but hey, listen, and don't be afraid to douse this. So we have, Look you know, that. our pure maple syrup. What that. is that? This is a chili crisp. All right, <gasps> so it's desiccated, uh, you know, garlic, and there's some almond in here, and then it's infused with a really cool chili oil. It's not too spicy. It just adds this amazing layer of flavor. Okay, so we hit it with our chili crisp. It also gives a really good texture. We have here, um, I like using this stuff. This is a sorrel, so a red vein sorrel. That's sorrel. Just, yeah, sorrel, S-O-R-E-L. It just has a nice, you know, uh, pop of freshness, and it looks beautiful too. Mm. All right, so we add some sorrel to this. And one of, my, one of my favorite things with uh, chicken and waffles is just a little uh, green onion, all right? Really? Um, yes, I really do love green onion, and it just really just lends that that little pop it of freshness. It also gives a freshness. good color. Yes, it does, really nice color. Again, we, we always eat with our eyes, and, and, and there you have it, right. you know? For, for you guys at home, you can get a shot of that. Look at that. Beautiful chicken and waffles, all right? Yes. Give me ladies first, especially yep. in the new yep. year. Every time. Oh, okay. Every Ms. Time. Lisa, there's one for you. I didn't get you a fork, I'm sorry. Jimmy? No, he grab, didn't grab yourself a fork. Yeah. Grab yourself a fork. Oh, I'm good. Please. I'm <laughs> good. Listen, one of my New Year's resolution is yeah. no chicken and waffles till chicken and waffle season, which is this time next year. There's a chicken uh, and waffle uh, season. <laughs> that I just thought yes. sound didn't great. even yes. know there was a chicken and All waffle right. season. All right, I tried to get a little bit of everything mm -hmm. in yep. one fork, so. You hear that crunch? Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Right, and that crunch is absolutely amazing on that chicken. That chili, what, what did you call it? Ch yeah, chili. So it's a chili crisp. The, crisp. the the real name for it is called Taboru Layu. So if you go online to order it, 
Taburlayu. It's uh, T A B E R U. It's chili crisp. Isn't yes, L A Y U. Taburlayu. -E. It is. I, I can't it's even mad. describe the flavor explosion yes. that you who get from this. Who would have thought you could add so much flavor with that? Well, you know, the thing with food is this, right? You can take a comfort dish like chicken and waffles, mm -hmm. and just by tweaking it a little bit, you know, you can make your waffles the texture that you want. If you want it to be more like a cornbread, or if you want it to be like a pancake texture, you can adjust that. The chicken, it's one of those things where by using that mix, it just makes that chicken crazy crispy. But it's going to be super moist, super juicy, super tender on the inside but you're gonna get that ultimate crisp in there. And I might have it, it done mm. before we mm -hmm. go to the commercial break. And that's this okay. Is, this is so good. <laughs> Tell us real quick, where can we find you? So we can find us uh, at 249 Northeast Front Street, okay. right? Benvenuto Restaurant in downtown Milford. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of cool things coming up. Uh, we are doing our dining in the dark. That's this Friday. This is our second one that we've done. So if you've never done dining in the dark, it's really cool. You're gonna come in, you're gonna be blindfolded, you're going to be in a dark room, and we are going to be serving you five different courses, all right? You have no idea what you're eating, all right? So it's a feast for the senses, right? Because now we're relying on our taste buds yeah. and our sense of smell to really, you know, wow, what am I eating? You're not going to be eating with your eyes. Exactly. Wow. And that's really cool. So I think we may be sold out, but if it's something you're interested in, you definitely want to give us a call. And that's 302 265-2652. Give us a call and see if we can get you in. Reservations. Go. That's this Friday. All right. I don't think I want to eat any other food ever again in my entire life. That is how good this is. Thank you, so thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you guys. Oh my goodness. We'll be right back. All right.